This is part three, addressing the potential matchup between Ada and Buck. So as all the four Shinjus are gathering seemingly in another dimension or place, no longer in Tentail's hideout, they discuss about a way to further develop and form their own identity, as they each are picking their targets. So Buck actually catches Ada eavesdropping the conversation and he right then and there picks her as his target. This distinguishes him from the other Shinjus as unlike them, Buck picked Ada because she was present during the selection, making her an easy target. He did not have to contemplate the decision. But it is possibly still related to his instinctual desire as many people have also pointed out. But how he was able to see her telepathically, that is a different discussion. Cause as of now, we have literally no idea how Buck was able to do that. It seems though that the the others are also able to perceive her in that form as Jura also recognizes her as Ada and also her ability. But yeah, I just wanted to give a brief background about how and what led to us discussing this topic. Ada is definitely a target and that fight will somehow, some way take place and it has many possibilities and outcomes as we'll get to. Now, if we consider a 1v1 scenario, Ada's combat skills remain a mystery. Even though she mentions that she lacks skills in Taijutsu, the truth is we haven't witnessed her in a close combat yet. So realistically speaking, we cannot assess the true extent of her weakness. Her Taijutsu might still be well above average. But even if we go by the default meaning, which is most likely what it is, it does make sense for her to lack in close combat and combat in general, as she hasn't had the need to ever use it thanks to her innate ability that basically disarms anyone. One, excluding Osusuki's blood relatives. However, when it comes to Bug, someone immune to her charm ability and capable of seeing her in her telepathic form, I'm not sure whether Ada can contend with that using her combat skills. This version of Bug practically speed blitz Boruto upon first sight. He is different, and for what's been shown, he's got way more speed, strength, and durability than Ada, and I don't see it as a competition. But here's the thing, man would she really jump in close combat if push comes to shove, or would she rather let her brother do the dirty work. I mean even if she doesn't want her brother's involvement for whatever reason, Damon would still jump in regardless and that is most likely what's gonna happen. Now it's a no brainer for Ada to let Damon handle Bug by himself or at the very least join him in the fight. Now when it comes to Damon versus Bug, that's where the fun starts man. Damon being a polar opposite to Cope, he has never lost the fight. So when Ada and Damon first appeared, we learned that they were stronger than Jigen. Hence Jigen himself ordered them to be destroyed. Though they were not stated to to be stronger than Ishiki so there's a big difference between those two and I realized how massive that guy was when we first reached Code versus Damon. I mean Code had just gotten his limiters off. In that state Code was explicitly stated to surpass Jigen. He was feeling himself and was going after Damon in order to be with Ada and become her only knight. Damon who was also stated to be stronger than Jigen engaged in the battle and they started fighting. Now it's not like they went blow for blow man, Damon decimated Cold with one kick and that kick literally ended the fight like it never began. So that was during part 1 of Boruto or pre skip. at which point Damon was the strongest in the series. Now however, there are many contestants in the mix. We don't really know whether Damon has progressed or even developed his abilities during the time skip. Well it's also possible that he's just been lying around and guarding her sister the whole time. Regardless though, Damon has not yet showcased his true power and this potential upcoming fight against Bug may be the time we get to finally see something from Damon. Though I would say for that to happen, we need him to be alone in a 1v1 type situation. Then we'll see him actually trying. Otherwise, a 2v2 scenario with Damon and Ada would be very difficult for Bug or anyone to overcome. But I'm not gonna get into that scenario, rather let's dissect the first option here. Now, Damon versus Bug. And I'll say this man, pre Tamsky Damon was stupidly fast. This Bug is also hella fast as previously mentioned and in my opinion if Damon hasn't been training during the time skip he might be cooked man. I mean the Shinjus are none to play with and I think Damon's gonna realize that and possibly bring out his full strength for the fight. See Damon, he keeps alluding to his lackluster effort in fighting, like he hasn't had the opportunity to showcase his true power, which he's been yearning for for quite a while. He declared to Boruto that he would have to train a lot to give Damon a serious fight, meaning Damon has not yet shown his best, like he hasn't yet gone all out. Now, if we take Damon versus Bug at face value, we have seen that Bug can elongate his hand and crush people, whereas Damon has mostly relied on raw taijutsu besides his reflection ability. That is a disadvantage for Damon, but if he can bypass that by his speed and gets close to him, it will be a GG cause that's where Damon shines. I mean his combat style is Taijutsu so he has to be near the person to attack. And you know what else he can do near a person? That's right. If he is in touch with someone, it automatically activates his reflection ability. And right then and there, well the fight is over.
Well, that is if Bug is unaware of Damon's ability and his weakness. And in my opinion, I do think he would know about it since they also knew Aegis. So I won't be shocked if they knew his as well. In which case, Bug would have to fight more carefully and tactically. And then Damon would have to go all out so he doesn't lose. He cannot downplay the enemy in this situation. Now, on the other hand, Bug's game plan would be to keep his distance and attack from afar, turning it into a battle of speed and tactics. I feel like they will be quite compatible in this situation, but let's consider another possibility for the fight, which is probably less likely, but I still want to bring it up, and that is the reveal of Damon's actual true power. See, what if his best goes beyond a mere boost in stats? What if he's been hiding some kind of attack or power? some form of power up or transformation somehow. Although a transformation is unlikely, it would be very hyped to say the least. Now the first option appears more probable, but I don't want to just brush aside the latter. And honestly, it's still a possibility. So the previous battle scenario, which focused on tactic, speed, and determining who lands the hit first, was already debatable by itself. So if we consider this alternative scenario, where Damon gains even more of a favor, Bug's chances of winning become so much less. Frankly, I don't see Damon losing in this fight. Now on another note, if we talk about it narratively, this side of him, I mean Damon, has been bigged up since part 1. It doesn't make sense for him to lose this early in part 2 and I don't believe this will be another close situation where he unleashed his best and still got defeated. And I don't think Bug or Damon is that much stronger than the other to an extent where they can easily overpower each other. It for sure will be an interesting fight. Now coming to the power ranking. I feel like Bug would be struggling much more than Damon. I mean, he would have to bypass his reflection ability and actually get hit slum. Whereas Damon realistically don't have to worry about no interior ability. I mean, he has to just dodge Bug's elongation jutsu or whatever it's called and hit him after that. Obviously, Damon has been much easier. Not to mention a potential power up from Damon, which would put him even further in the ranking. Yeah, Bug's got much more disadvantages than advantages, but I've only discussed Bug from what's been shown. I mean, we'll definitely see more of him, and of course, my opinion and ranking might change by then. But for now, I've put Bug between 5 and 6. It was already placed from the previous or first video in the series in which I had to go through him to elaborate my other choices. But uh, I'm not gonna lie man, if you haven't watched it, I don't know what you're doing this far in the video. I mean you should go watch it, I do discuss Bug and compare him with the other characters. So yeah, Bug is between base Boruto and uh, Karmic or Code with activated Karma. However, when it comes to Ada and Damon, it's very tricky. I would say it's more tricky for Ada since without her abilities, mainly charm ability, she wouldn't be this high on the list. But I guess that logic could also apply for like any other characters. But like for Ada's, it's very much a deal breaker. Nevertheless, I'm ranking Ada between 3 and 4. Because as corny as it seems, I have basically considered her abilities and just positioned her below those unaffected by it. Because I don't want to factor in ambiguous skills. I'm just gonna rank her as she is. But when we get to Damon, I mean, he's also like, he's very difficult to rank. He has yet to go all out, but I think I can more precisely determine which rank he would be at. Now, I'm not gonna count in an insane power up or like transformation I named, but purely his full power as he is right now. Now, it might be kinda low, but I would rank him between a 7 and 6. Realistically, though, he could be well above 7. And that statement could also be true for Buck, so like, we just gotta see, man. I feel like we're gonna get the answer pretty soon. Now, to conclude the video, here are my possible outcomes and conclusion for the matchup. So, at first place, we have Ada versus Bug. In this matchup, I would definitely say like Bug wins, cause like previously mentioned, he is not affected by her like ability, main ability. And I don't think Ada's basically like Taijutsu skills can contend with the likes of Bug's hacks. But yeah man, I feel like Ada would definitely lose in this fight if it was a 1v1 situation. Now the second one is actually Damon versus Bug. So here's the thing man. If Bug doesn't know about Damon's weakness and don't know how to take advantage of it, I'll say Damon will win like pretty easily. But if Doug figures out or knows about his weakness and takes advantage of it, Damon has to go all out. And if that happens, a fight about speed and tactics, bro, we'll have a great fight between them and uh, it might legit be one of the greatest fights. And to answer the question of who would win, I would say it would be an either or man, but... Uh... For the sake of the video, I will say Damon will still have an edge over Bug because like his ability is still like, it can still be activated within a single touch. So I would have Damon winning in this fight. But the thing is, we literally have no idea of what other abilities Bug might have. I mean, I'm sure he didn't show it all, bro. The, the single thing he showed was the elongation of the, whatever, elongation jutsu, let's call that. That's the only thing that we got shown. 
man, I would still say Damon will win, man. Because, like, all the foreshadowing, like, he keeps saying he hasn't gone all out. Uh, give him a better fight. Man, I, this will be the perfect fight for Damon. And I don't think it will be, like, a easy fight for Damon, man. It will be pretty hard for him to beat the likes of Buck with two running gun and whatever else he got, bro. But I would say, here's the thing, man. Uh, a more plausible outcome is for Ada and Damon to both fight Buck. Because personally, I can see Ada, like, or Ada and Damon separating from each other. Like, it's not very likely. And what would cause that to happen, man? They've been together, like, since day one. I don't know, man. Um, it's not very likely. If it happens, well, it might be a GG for one of them. And uh, since Ada is a target, yeah, we might have to say our goodbyes. But uh, I don't think, I don't believe that would happen. So, yeah, man. <sighs> I feel like those are the three outcomes I see. And I personally would like to see the Damon versus Buck fight. Like uh, them two versus each other. Like 1v1. But Ada and Damon is also like. I mean that would be more likely for Damon and Ada to fight. But uh, but I don't know man. We'll see what happens uh, with them. Hope we get to see that fight man. That would be so lit. And uh, yeah man. Take care. Peace out.